Ocean State Government has unveiled a 100 billion naira infrastructure plan to provide critical amenities and healthcare delivery, road, water, and education sectors in the state. The project will comprise construction of two flyovers at the capital city and dualization of roads in the three senatorial districts in the state. Rafi Ahmed has details in this report. It's an event to make known its plans for residents of the state. The governor said a minimum of 1.5 kilometers of roads will be constructed in all the 30 local governments in the state, while 345 primary health care centers will also be revitalized. He expressed his resolve not to borrow from any financial institution to finance the projects, saying the projects will be funded majorly with special intervention funds from the federal government and partly with internal generated revenue. All the projects have a completion period of 12 months. Sound infrastructure is a condition for economic growth and development. The difference between a growing economy and a dormant one has to do with how developed the state infrastructure is. In the case of Oshu, I have used the last level month to address the over 90% infrastructure deficit and want to ensure it helped. The governor said the initiative will be carried out using local content as well as in strict compliance to extant procurement process. The governor had earlier flagged off the distribution of mini buses, freezers, grinding machines, among others, presented to women in the state by his sister, Dupe Adeleke, through her foundation. I did it today to appreciate all the women of Osho State. They were very good. They, they worked so hard during the uh, course of the, um, when we were preparing for the election. They work very hard, tirelessly, to make sure God answer our prayer. The event, attended by Yaloja General of Nigeria, for Lashade Tinubuchu, also featured presentation of cash kits to some women. Rafi Hamid, TVC News, Ushubu.